Now I was looking at some statistics the other day about different Android versions and I thought that it would be worth to go back and look at this because the majority of Android users are still on older versions. Now by older version I mean that fewer than 50% are on the latest two versions, not even the latest version, but the latest two versions of Android. Fewer than 50% of users are using those and we'll dive into all the numbers in a minute. Now this is important for a couple of reasons. One, of it's important because app developers, people who write software, need to target the right kind of version for Android to make sure they get the biggest coverage for the apps they release. There is the security implications, of course, of people potentially running older versions that are no longer supported. And there's also the problem, just this general market perception about Android fragmentation, uh, which you don't see, for example, in iOS, for example. Okay, so if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. So as I said, we're dealing with the latest two versions. So that's Android 13 and Android 14. Android 13 was released in August of 2022, almost two years ago. I'm making this video in July of 2024. And Android 14 was released in October of 2024. So around nine months ago. So we've had nine months up to two years for uh, devices to upgrade to the latest version. Now total adoption for Android 13 and 14 combined is just 48%. So that shows you that half of the kind of the Android users must be using something before that. So most users are using an Android version released in 2021 or earlier, and we're making this in 2024, and they're using a version of Android that was released in 2021. Now, that's not an ideal situation, obviously. So let's look at some of the numbers. It is quite interesting. So Android 11 uh, makes up just over 14% of the market, and that was released in 2020. Android 12, 15 percent of the market that was released in 2021 and then we get onto the two bigger ones so android 13 is now 22 percent of the the market and android 14 is 25 percent. so for sure android 14 is the largest individual segment and then behind that is android 13 so that is good that's what you'd expect that the latest two uh, os versions are the most popular but there's still a healthy number of users using android 12 11 and even 10 if you look here at the pie graph in fact let's just break them all down here we can see 25 percent 22 percent 15 percent 14 percent 8 percent using 10 5% using Android 9. Now, how are these numbers gathered? These are gathered using the StatCounter website. So it's measuring web access. And then when a device connects to the web, it does tell you uh, in the headers of the request what version of, the, of Android is it running and what browser is it using and what uh, operating system. And here you can see StatCounter. So all kudos to StatCounter for, for these numbers that they publish on their web page. And here's their version of those same numbers showing over the last 12 months the increase. And you can see here how uh, Android 14 usage went up, Android 13 usage started to go down. But however, the older ones kind of stay kind of flat, don't they? They're not really jumping up. Now this is just basically the switch from 13 to 14. The others are still showing quite a lot of use. There was a drop here, look. Now, another piece of statistics that I saw recently from uh, a company called Esper is about managed devices. So this is devices, not just consumers who go out and buy a device, but for example, an Android device that might be used in a restaurant, might be used in retail, uh, might be used in medical. Uh, often when I go to a restaurant nowadays, the, the people are taking the order uh, on an Android device and they're just tapping the things on the, the menu to, to kind of build up the order. Now, just to show this is different, nearly four in 10 to 40% of those devices are running in some kind of single app kiosk mode. The point being they're not switching between their mail and the, you know, their Twitter and, you know, social media, whatever. This is basically, they've got one app running on there. And as I said, the report covers hospitality, health, retail, and so on. Now this shows that the, the Android 12, 13, and 14 have really quite low adoption rates. So, you know, 13%, 8%, and still the majority of these managed devices that are running in this kind of, kind of a, not in the consumer environment, more in a controlled environment, 
Android 9, 10, 11, 20%, 25%, 24%. So the consumer market is clearly going uh, in one direction uh, and it seems like managed devices that are used uh, in non-consumer uh, kind of situations are lagging behind. Now it's also worth just noting the overall usage of uh, operating system. So again, this is from Stats Counter. So we can see here that 45% of all web accesses are done via Android. So clearly Android uh, handset wise is popular and people are accessing the web, whatever it is that they're doing on the web uh, via their Android. And then after Android comes Windows at 27%, iOS, so iPhone and iPad 17%, and then Mac at 5%, and then Linux down here at 1.5%, you know, a traditional Linux distribution like Ubuntu or something like that. So clearly Android and Windows are the two, the two biggies here, and then iOS taking a fairly big chunk as well. So we've talked about the problem. What are the solutions? Well, there are no easy solutions. And this is the problem because there was an easy solution. Uh, you know, Google, Samsung, whoever would have come up with impl implemented this solution you know, five years ago, 10 years ago. So now Apple is the only company that makes iOS devices. So it has the capacity to maintain the releases over a relatively few number of devices. So you've got an iPhone, you know, 15, an iPhone 14. You know, they keep a few of them going. There's Pro and Plus models and so on. So, you know, you can put them all together. What have you got? 10, 15 currently supported devices uh, and they kind of just ship them out by, you know, according to that, and they manage that. And that's why Apple's adopted. If we did the same video about Apple, we would see that the latest version of iOS is much, much bigger uh, take up than it does in Android. Whereas Android devices are made by many diverse manufacturers, and each of those is responsible for the updates. And this is the, the key thing. You know, I use a OnePlus device. It's been running for four years. I've got Android 13 on it. I'm still getting security updates. I believe it's going to come soon to the end of its of its updates, but I'm getting that four, five year update thing out of it. If you buy from a lesser known brand, then you're going to get less updates. I have had phones that I've kind of tested and, you know, they get one update every six months and the Android OS upgrades are pretty slow, if non-existent. Uh, if you're picking a big name, OnePlus, Samsung, whatever, it's one of the big ones, then they keep, you know, Google itself, of course, they keep much better. So it is something for you to consider, although buying a cheaper phone may seem like a good idea at the beginning, because you say, hey, this is only this price, I can afford that. If you think about the ownership over four or five years, then you've got to wonder what's the device going to be like then? Is it still going to be getting updates? Is it still going to be secure? Is it still going to be what you need? Is it not better to maybe spend a bit more money or choose a brand that's guaranteeing you those updates over the uh, over the long term? As I said, we can't do anything about it because Android is made by so many different uh, manufacturers and it's each of those are responsible for doing those updates. It is worth mentioning that Google does do a lot to try to get some of the updates out to these phones via the Play Store. So, you know, updates for, you know, web browsers, for web browser vulnerability, for certain components, it does try to get those out uh, uh, via the Play Store. And that does, has helped the situation in terms of overall security. However, these particular problems about which version of Android you're running and what your latest, technically your latest update is, uh, that's still each individual manufacturer. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.